Anna and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you some fun things you can do in lockdown scenes that can get pretty boring. So as you guys can see behind me, my room is a tip and also behind the camera is even worse. So the first thing you can do is a speed clean. So obviously this isn't the funnest thing to do but when you've done it after it's the best feeling ever and then you can just do some more funner things as well. So just get that over and done with first. And also guys I want to show you some new products I got for like cleaning products um, and I got these from B&M. So these are the first things I got. So these are scourers, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, but they're really cute and they're glittery and they're colourful and they're really cute and they were £1.50 for B&M. And then we also picked up this one, so this is a Fabulosa spray, I love Fabulosa, it's amazing. Um, um, this is actually a Christmas scent but it doesn't actually smell very Christmassy and this was really the only one that they had there. So we picked up this one but it smells amazing. So let's get on with cleaning. But don't worry because there will be a lot more fun things coming as well. We're going to make a snack box for my room and we're also going to make a little box to send to my cousin since I'm missing them. And it's going to be really fun so you'll just have to stay tuned for that. I'm just going to chuck the stuff in here and then I'll like proper organise this later on. But we're not going to worry about that for now. Also guys, this is a really cute new AirPod case that I got. It's really cute. It's a little fluffy bunny. And I got it from Amazon and I think it was like £8. And it actually took quite a while to come as well, but it's really cute. <laughs> scrubbed all my makeup stains with that I'm going to go over with the cloth and wipe off all the excess stuff to get all the dust in that off and also guys whilst I'm cleaning my vanity I've had a load of you guys ask me on my Instagram to do a vanity tour so let me know on my Instagram or my community page if that's something that you guys want to see because I think that'll be quite a cool video to show you as well and like I'll show you everything like every single product that's in my drawers because I think People want to see that. I'm going to wipe down all the shelves and I'm going to wipe around this book. And this is also something that's going to be coming up in the video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Now I've cleaned my room and I feel so much better. Now I've got the worst part of the way we can get onto the fun part. So the next um, thing that you can do is make a gift box for your friends or family. So I'm going to be making one for my two cousins, Ella and Grace. So guys, the next part of the video is sponsored by Penguin. And I'm going to be showing you the fourth book in the Rosewood Chronicles series. So this book is called Princess at Heart and if you're a fan of Princess Diaries and Harry Potter this book is definitely for you. So this is what the cover looks like, it is so pretty. So this is the author Connie Glynn. And this is another book from the series called The Lost Princess. So I think this book would be great to give to my cousins because my little cousin Grace is obsessed with princesses and she loves them so much and my cousin Ella is obsessed with Harry Potter so I thought this would be the perfect book for them. So guys, we're going to move on to packing the gift box, but I'll tell you a little bit more about the book after I packed Ella's gift box. So this is the basket we found from B&M. It is really cute and it has a really cute lid. Um, so we picked this one out. There are other colours, but I think pink goes the best. So I'm going to be showing you the things I'm going to be putting in it. So the first thing we're going to start with is this blanket from B&M. So I bought these blankets for them because I think it will be really cute for them to sit and read their book with or play with the other products they've got. Um, and as you guys know, I love being in blankets. They're like the best thing ever. So I'm going to put this one in the bottom. And pack it down because it's quite big. <laughs> so that's the first layer. So I am actually going to be sending Ella the Lost Princess and Princess at Heart. Um, but then after Ella's read it, I'm going to ask her if she can post it to Grace. So then she can read both of the books as well. So they'll both get a turn. Um, but I'm going to put this one in here. 
And the next thing, let's go with the sweets. So Ella's actually vegan, um, so we picked these ones up. And my mum and my brother's actually vegan as well, and they really enjoy these, so I think she will. And these are sour watermelon. Sour is one of my favourite sweets. It's the best thing ever, and they are candy kittens, if I haven't said. Um, so I'm just going to put this to the side. That looks really cute. Um, and then we're going to put in some things that were actually in my super drug haul that I told you that I would tell you the next video. Um, so this is it. So I'm going to be putting the foam burst in. So the next thing is the hand sanitizer. So the girls are actually starting to get into their makeup and beauty products. So that's really cool as well. So I'm going to send them some little beauty products each. So I'm going to send them three things that are different, obviously. Um, so we're going to go for the Girls for Girls brand, um, and this is a highlighter, so I'm going to put the highlighter in Ella's. Um, these are, I think these are like face glitters, so they're face and body glitters, and they're really pretty. And then also, this is a strawberry scented lip gloss. That looks really nice, and I actually had one of them before. So Cody's team has actually sent me this notebook and pencils to send to Ella as well. So on the front of the book, it says Rosewood Hall, and that's the name of the school in the book. And on the pencils, these are the house names that are in the school, so that's really cool. So I'm going to put these together so she can write in her notebook with these. Let's put that one in there. So that is Ella's little gift box that I'm going to send to her. So now we're packing Grace's and they've got the same basket and also the same blanket. So we're going to start by putting in the book. And we're going to put in the sweets. And then we're going to put in this really cute tote bag that I'm going to show you. So it says students of Rosewood Hall. So I'm going to put that in there. And then Grace has also got this Rosewood Hall cup and it's really cute and it's got pink and yellow and pink's one of our favorite colors, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and then she's got a foam burst as well. This is a different scent. This is a peach blossom and bejeweled fruits. And she's got the same hand sanitizer. And this time for her beauty bit, she's got a few different things. So it's for the girls for girls range. And she's got a eyeshadow palette. I think she'll really like these colours because there's purples and blues and yellows and pinks. And then she's also got a glitter. It's like a body shimmer. So you can put this on in the summer and it looks really pretty. And then also it's a body mist and it's coconut and it smells amazing. I've actually got that one. So now I'm going to put the lid on. So I actually did a box for my granddad in the first lockdown and he really liked it and it was really fun to pack as well. So I definitely think you should do it and he really appreciated it. And I think it's just a nice little thing to do, especially when you can't see them. So the Rosewood Chronicles are based around Ellie, Lottie and Jamie. So Ellie is the princess that is hiding her identity. So Lottie is the one that is pretending to be the princess in public. And Jamie is Ellie's bodyguard, so it's really fun. So go check out the Rosewood Chronicles if you're into fairy tales and adventures. Thank you to Penguin for sponsoring this video, I really appreciate it. And also stay tuned to the end because I'm going to be inserting a clip of the girls' reactions of their little gift boxes. And I think it's going to be so cute, so make sure you stay tuned. So as you guys saw on my TikTok, I created a sweet snack box and it was really fun and I really loved it. But for a while now, I've been meaning to do a snack box for my room. But instead of sweets, it's going to be a bit like um, crisps and chocolates and all of that. So I'm really excited. So we're going to do that today. So obviously we're in lockdown where we're stuck in our bedrooms and houses a lot. So this is a perfect idea. And also you can have a little movie night and just have the snack box and it's amazing. I think I'll pack it as I go, but I might change some stuff around. But the first thing I got is this sweet and salted popcorn. So this has a five packets and I wanted to get um, stuff that had packets, obviously. So, oops. so it's like stuff. <laughs> it's stuck. I'm gonna rip it if I do this. Well, oh, I've ripped it. What a shame, I have to eat them. Ooh. <laughs> so, the next thing I got are these Snacker Jacks. So, these are crisps and they're salt and vinegar. And this is my favourite flavour. And my mum, so she's probably gonna nick these, aren't you? Yeah. So, I'm just gonna open these. Sorry if it's loud. <laughs> I'm going to put these ones next to it, and if you can tell, it's just like kind of like crisps and that. Okay. 
Oh, these ones stand up a lot nicer. These are the Maryland mini cookies. Um, I don't know how many are in here. Six, okay. Look how cute they are. And they also do birthday cake ones, which I got for my birthday. <laughs> and they were really nice. Okay, I'm gonna put these in front of them here. Yeah. Okay, the next things are penguins because even though penguins are really simple, they're like one of my favorite chocolate bars. I love them. And they're a good little snack. I think there's eight in here. So I'm gonna stack these ones on top of each other because I need to try and fit it all in. So they have a joke on the back and this is how bad they are. So let's do this one. What do penguins wear to the beach? Flipper floppers. Flipper flops. Yeah, that is how bad. They just have stupid jokes like that on the back, which, I mean, I don't think everyone reads them, but I do. <laughs> I don't know why. So now we're going to move on to the next thing. So I'm really excited about these because I love these. So these are Cadbury brunch bars, and they're like um, breakfast bars, and these ones are chocolate chip. You can add tons of different flavours, though. These ones are my favourite. These are so good. Um, I think I'm going to lay these ones down and pile them up. So last but not least, these are kind of a little treat. So these are KP. Isn't that like the peanut? This is like a peanut brand. And <laughs> I didn't know they come from that brand. But they're little um, chocolate pots. And they have like little sticks and then a little chocolate dip. You would have seen these. I swear they have them everywhere. Um, obviously different brands. But then you dip them in. They're really yummy. And then I'll have these ones here. And then there's one more. I don't know if this one's going to fit. So guys, this is my little snack box for my room. Uh, behind here I have my little penguins and that you can't see them very well. <laughs> um, but this is my snack box and I've been wanting to wait for one of these for ages and I'm really happy with it. Let's hope it lasts though. <laughs> So the next thing you can do in lockdown is a TikTok. So you guys know TikTok is like the best thing ever and I spend hours scrolling through it and it's really time consuming. <laughs> so if you're really bored, just have a little scroll through TikTok and it keeps me amused anyway. But recently on my account, I've been posting um, loads of makeup videos, but I haven't actually done an updated skincare routine on my TikTok. I made one ages ago, but I'm gonna do one of them today. So the next thing you can do is make a TikTok. So right now I actually don't have hardly any makeup on. I literally have mascara on and that's about it. Um, but I'm going to do a skincare routine. So I'm going to get all my products and then let's make it. I'm going to start with the Garnier Micellar Water on a cotton pad. And then I'm going to use the Garnier Toner. And this is obviously going to be, some things are going to be the same because I stick to some of the same products. Um, and then the Simple Moisturiser. These dew drops from Amara Badescu. This is like a mini set, but they are really, really nice. That's what they look like. They're really nice. And then also an eye cream from Mario Badescu. And the Aloe Vera Herbs and Rose Water Spray. This is my favourite scent. And then I'm also going to be using the Body Shop Strawberry um, Lip Balm. And then I'm just going to be using cotton pads as well. So I'm going to film that in time lapse. So let's do that. I'm going to start from the TikTok. The angle isn't the best, but my phone's over here, so you can't really see my phone. But I'm just going to start it now. Oh, <laughs> let's put you in time lapse. I've just finished doing the skincare routine as you guys would have saw so this is what I'm going to be posting it as and that's like the picture that I've chose to be like the cover of it um and I just put skincare routine and then all the hashtags and I think it's really good so if you want to go check it out make sure you go to my tiktok so the next thing 
thing to do in lockdown is to do a mini pamper or a big pamper, whatever you want to do. So I really love doing a pamper on a Sunday night. So right now is actually Sunday, but I haven't got school tomorrow. So um, I'm not gonna have like a bath and all of that because, like I usually would. So usually I'd like do exfoliating. I'm not gonna do like a full on pamper, but I'm going to put on a face mask and a um, pore strip. So I'm going to use the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm Tissue Mask. So this one is su super hydrating and it is smoothing. So it has a chamomile and hydrolic acid. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I'll just show you so you can see it. So these are the T-Zone um, Charcoal and Bamboo Nose Strips. And I'm really excited to use these because I used one the other day and it's actually really nice. So I'm going to put the... Ooh. I'll put this one on and then I'll take it off and put the nose strip on. So we're going to open this one. It's going to be really wet and I just did my skincare so uh, we'll see. Oh, it's blue. Ooh, I haven't used a sheet mask in eight. Oh my God, it's filled with juice stuff. Oh, it's really like gooey. Oh, it smells quite nice. Oh, look like a droopy snowman. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna go and relax if I. <laughs> but I'm gonna. <laughs> so I'm going to um, wait 10 minutes like, or 15 minutes and then I'm going to take it off and use this. I'll be back. So, guys, it's been 10 minutes and I'm just. Oh, I feel fresh though. But I'm pretty sure you meant to just rub this stuff into your skin. Oh, it's very wet. <laughs> it does smell and I, my skin feels really smooth though. That mask was really nice, except when I was watching YouTube, it was a bit like falling down my face. It's like <laughs> kind of dripping down my face a bit. And I had to keep pulling it up and it wasn't the best thing ever. I definitely prefer peel off mask, but I still feel really nice. My skin feels really smooth. But now we're going to move on to the pore strip. And I'm excited, but then I'm also not because the pain is not okay. It really hurts. These aren't like soft ones, they're quite hard. So it doesn't really get in the, in the middle, but it gets at the top, which I've got like a little spot. Hopefully it takes it out. It looks crazy still, obviously, but I'm just going to go do the exact same thing. Watch from YouTube. I'm actually going to check my TikTok, so let's do that right now. So guys, I've just been on my TikTok, replied and liked some comments, but now I'm going to take the nose job off. I'm actually really scared because these ones hurt a <laughs> lot. Ow! Oh. Guys, I'm not going to show you what was on that, um, but it wasn't the nicest thing ever to take off, but it wasn't actually too bad that time. But it does leave some black stuff on your face, which I don't know if that's good or not. I don't think it is, but I just wipe it off at the end, and I'm not going to put any moisturiser on because my skin is still moisturised underneath from all of that product I put on. Um, but... I've finished my things to do in lockdown and I really hope you enjoyed them. So guys, now it's going to be the time where I'm going to insert the clip of Grace and Ella. Thanks Emma, I can't wait to open this box. Shower gel. The Rosewood Library Cafe, I can use this for my cup of tea. Some body mist. This smells lovely. A girl's power book. It's a makeup some candy cut and sour water melon body shimmer gel natural lost princess i can't wait to read this book a nice bag and a big cozy blanket thanks emma Guys, I really hope you liked the box and I'm so happy to see you opening it. I really enjoyed it. And also, um, I'm going to be putting some of your video in my actual video. Um, so thank you for recording it. And also, I love you so much. And also, I love your LED lights. They are so cool. Hi, I'm Emma's cousin, Ella. And I've got this enormous box. I've really just got told that I've got this. It's a really pretty box. Wow. So I've got this peachy tin. It looks like... It looks like it was a foam bath. I've got some candy kittens. They're some of my favourite sweets. 
<laughs> the Lost Princess, which I'm definitely going to enjoy. I love reading books. Hands off. I think as I like unicorn face glitter. Um, there's some pens, which I definitely need because all my pencils are almost run out. Rosewood Hall. Wow. This is 100% going to come in hand. The Princess of the Heart. Princess at Heart. It looks like this is like a makeup palette. Wow. Massive blanket. It looks like lipstick or maybe lip gloss or lip balm. Thank you, Emma, so much. Love you. Bye. Hey, I'm really happy you liked all of the gifts. I will be putting some of this um, video in my actual video. And I'm really happy you liked it. And I love you so much. So, guys, I hope their reaction was good. But I would have um, seen their reaction. And I really hope they love it so much. But if you did enjoy this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. My breath was